greeting brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to another Pastor's Corner. I'm Jay Milland, pastor of the Greater Freedom Missionary Baptist Church, located in the community of Clean and Fort Hood, Texas. I enjoy bringing these Pastor's Corner statements to you in the many of these statements are geared toward the Greater Peace of Missionary Baptist Church. This, these are my comments and observations for this week. We greet you in the eternal name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We want to remind you again that we do plan to have in service meetings starting on the 6th, or should I say the 4th of March, of uh, April, I'm sorry, the 4th of April, the first Sunday in April. I believe that'll be Easter Sunday. Your support is requested and is greatly appreciated at Greater Peace Missionary Baptist Church. I'm sure that you are continuing to go through certain things. You are facing some difficulties in certain areas. I pray that with the help of the Lord that you will be brought out of these situations successfully. You've heard me say this on several occasions. You probably know what I'm going to say. I'll say it till I'm till I can't speak no more. I do believe that God is in charge of his world. I do believe that God's got this thing under control. Regardless of what man is doing, whether to hurt us, to malign us, damage us, or whatever, God is going to take care of of his people. Now I'm just going to go through life believing in God. God. God's going to take care of me. And I believe that he's going to take care of all of his children. Keep praying. Keep praising him. Keep worshiping him. Keep exalting him. Again, I want to thank you for whatever you are doing in carrying on or helping the ministry that are entrusted to us here at Greater Peace. When I say us, I'm talking about us Christians. Wherever God wants us to go, just trust him. He'll get us there. Whatever he wants us to do, follow his leadership. He'll lead us there as we walk by faith. God will get his work done through his people. We ask that you please continue to pray for those whom prayer has already been asked, asked for whom we've asked prayer for in the past. Continue to pray for the family of Sister Willie Mae Tinsley. I believe a homegoing ceremony will be on Saturday the 27th at 11 a.m at the Simmonsville Missionary Baptist Church. I say again, whatever you're going through right now, just keep on trusting the Lord. Continue to pray for our schools, our children, our teachers, Staff,
continue to pray for all of the first responders, our medical personnel, our military, and government leaders. Continue to pray for those who are putting their lives on the line to help the rest of mankind. Keep them lifted up in prayer. Because God used others to help others. God uses each of us to help somebody. Thank you for what you are doing in helping your fellow man. And let's not forget about one another. Saints, let's pray for one another as we continue to get the word of God out. I know we're all going through something right now. We want to thank uh, the, I'm going to say the NAACP for the great job that you did over the other day in distributing those much needed items to the community on Wednesday. Thank you. Thanks to all that we involved in getting those goods out to the community. Thank you. God bless you. I do know, and I'm going to keep on saying it, that God is in control. So don't let your heart dwell in despair. For the Lord has things already worked out. Oh, I say he has them already worked out. We're coming into what he's already done. So thank you. May God bless you. We've said before, we're going to say one more time, Greater Peace Missionary Baptist Church is here for you, saints. If there is a pressing issue, please contact your deacon. And if I need to get involved with it, they will let me know. Or you can call me directly. You have my number. It's in the bulletin. You have my number. You can call. Whatever I can do, I'm willing to do it. Pray for Sister Jessica Anderson. She's going through something right now that uh, I'm sure she would appreciate the prayers of the saints. Pray for her, what she's having to deal with right at this moment. Before we close these personal comments, If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you can accept him right where you are, right now. God asks us, in one way, it's a simple thing he asks us to do. He asks us to believe. He doesn't ask us to climb high mountains, swim bodies of water. He doesn't ask us to work for the thing that he's willing to give us here when it comes to our salvation. He asks us to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for you. Believe that he shed his blood for you. Believe that he was buried for you. Believe that he rose from the dead. And he's now sending back in the glory. Believe that God has your best interest at heart. He loves you. 
He wants to give you his salvation. And when you believe and surrender to the Lord, he'll save you because he promised to do it. I can say now to God be the glory. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you that you care more for us than we know how to care for ourselves. You do the things for us that we cannot do for ourselves. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for allowing him to die on the cross. Thank you for allowing him to shed his precious blood for the remission of sins. And thank you, Lord, for accepting us into your family when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. When we accept him as our Savior. And Father, we ask that you would just help Sister Anderson through this ordeal that she's going through right now. Others may be going through it as well. Help them. We're going to forever give you praise. We thank you. We love you. We exalt you. We praise your name. And Father, may all of the glory, may all of the glory be unto you. It is in the name of Jesus we pray. We thank you. Amen.